So, I'm intending to plant this dish that's been on my deck over here. So here's the hole. Uh, I've encountered some rock about two and a quarter down. I'm not getting quite. I'm not quite going to get the three feet that I wanted uh, because of the rock. But uh, I'll uh, lay some foundation in, and uh, it's not going to be super high for this satellite dish anyway. It's going to be a few feet off the ground. So hopefully, time will tell. The advantage of the pole mount on these dishes is you can correct it by having someone hold the dish and then just. Uh, working that you can see with the reflection if I'm pointing right so with these uh, pole mounts you can always correct it a little bit just by balancing it out all right so I'm gonna put a pole through the pole what I always like to do when I put uh, one of these poles in the ground is get like a coat hanger cut it in half and just create like a little bit of a uh, securing and for so the pole doesn't spin when you uh, with the wind, uh, it'll help secure it into the into the into the concrete. And when you do that, you drill through it. And what I found is get a little bit of what I got this year here is just olive oil, and uh, uh, use that to uh, uh, so you don't wreck your uh, drill bit. One thing I'm going to try to fix with this is when the wind hits it, there's a lot of wobble. So on a windy day, this thing's moving and signal's getting lost. I have this tight as possible. What I'm finding here is a bit of a gap there. So I'm going to put some washers in there. Uh, maybe just being shipped with enough washers just to help bridge it in there to help uh, seal up that this uh, wiggle point so that it won't move as much. I got these two grounding rods, they're four feet grounding rods, they have the tipped end there. And I'm gonna hammer these into the 
Got two of them, one for the TV antenna and, and one for the um, satellite dish. TV antenna is further away from the house. Or no, they're further away from where the electrical ground is. So I'm just going to get an additional grounding rod to um, send some of the elect static electricity to the ground. <laughs> and uh, so it doesn't go to the house. <laughs> but not likely to happen, but you want to... So this is what you get to protect yourself from that. These two copper four foot things and then they get some RG uh, 10 gauge wire connect it right there and uh, that's how you're and that's what you need to get for grounding. All right. So I got some uh, more work done here on the uh, four foot um, dish, which I'm using for KU band right now. So I ran the wires underground with this ABS pipe. So I'll give you a look at what I've done here in my garden. So I can still use most of the garden, except for where the satellite dish is. And so we're just running the, the ABS pipe here underground. And it just runs up to the C-band dish where I got my so there's the ground rod, I gotta connect that. So yeah, I run it to this dissect switch with the multiple dishes. There's only one wire going to the C-band because I have a, a 22K switch that uh, switches between the C-band and KU-band. So my redneck setup for today, <laughs> I have these three wires here. These wires were for the um, the uh, LMB, the old LMB on these dishes, with, but, but for the old dish, Black Beauty that I had here, I had a, the, when I got it, the LMB was like really old, basically a power control LMB, or an LN, actually it was an LNA, as someone corrected me on YouTube. So these three wires here, but I need an extra wire for my actuator control for the other dish, because I'm using two uh, Superjack power uh, controllers. So I'm going to run the sensor through the cable connection here, this one here. I'm not using that one, so I'll just run one of them to that. So I'll have my positive and negative there, and I'll have my sensor signal, the extra wire that I need for that. So I just don't have to drill three more wires through the house. And to connect all my ABS pipes, I just use this uh, um, cement stuff uh, to connect each piece together so that I'll have a nice uh, fitting. Don't know if I'll make it 100% waterproof from the condensation getting in from the ground, but uh, just at least keep it protected from weather. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free-to-air satellite reception. For removing my dishes, I use these two Super Jack um, dish mover positioners. Uh, th these two are the exact same model. This one just doesn't have the sticker on it. So I move my C-band dish with this uh, dish mover and the four foot KU-band dish with this mover. So this way I can have my KU dish parked on one satellite and my or my four foot dish, I could have KU band or C band. I like to tinker around, so I might put like a CKU band LMB on here, but because of some of the weak uh, KU band feeds, I want to be able to uh, use this. And then this one here, for, I use for my eight foot C band dish. So I can get the best of both worlds and have a dish for both of them. I have had uh, my dish with the CKU LMB as well. Um, there's different configurations you can set it up however you you feel that you'll want to uh, have your dish set up. So here's a shot of the Tech 2000 website where they have that device for $115 that you can get that at uh, Tech 2000 and Satellite Galore all off on eBay also has these things as well if you want to get one for say your older dish and a lot of people will say well the old receivers used to have the dish positioners built into it, but nowadays there is none that I know of, like on the consumer level, that have the dish positioners built into it. So you have to get one of these separately. It's kind of 
one of the things about the hobby. But hey, when you got this, you'll be able to um, uh, move your dish. And if you have one of those, if you do have an older dish you want to get going again, uh, you pick up one of these and use that. And the beauty thing about these is you can set positions and it has a reed sensor. So on your super jack uh, dish maneuver, dish mover, it has the limit switch here. I don't think I can press that. I think I'll need to get like a little um, needle uh, plug things for uh, setting that where you can set the limitations so you don't push it out too far because that's one thing you really want to be careful is that you don't push your dish out too far that will damage that will end up damaging your actuator so that's one thing you want to take in precautions so it's in the manual for this the limit switches are here you just press in there and you'll set your limits for your east and west limits and then which is great because it will stop uh, your uh, your positioner from sending your actuator out too far here's a shot of the back now this is the one that I've always had plugged in for my c-band dish where I got the wires coming in I don't use the receiver LMB connections just because I rather just have the position entered in and I just manually move it and this uh, one because I move the I'm moving around and I want to switch things around. I actually hooked up a a trailer uh, plug. Just got one of these off of uh, got one of these. Uh, it has the four wires that you need for connecting. Don't want to give myself a shock by holding that. And then I can uh, run that out to the, where the dish is for the four foot dish. So the manual states prod limit button to on the remote to display L dash dash L dash dash and that's the sequence you want to go. So by doing that, you get that I have an old space bar which broke off a laptop which has a little piece of metal sticking out. That's gonna I'm gonna use the prod. Prod is what this manual says. The limit button. So we're going to press the limit button, hold that in. I should see a change in the, there you go. Press that and then HL it flashes, then hit enter. So 979 is the limit on that. So I can't move the dish. There's like showing a little dash on there. So I go up, but I can't go in. And there's the limit limiter. So that's great protection for your dish just so you don't push your actuator out too far so here's my setup so I got the thing running underground here and it comes up through that thing next to where I've grounded the satellite dish and then I have this mess of wires here I just got to tuck these away so I got my dish mover here looks like it didn't find any channels and then also for grounding the dish I got this green wire here going to the ground and I've just looped Part of the uh, copper wire uh, around the dish there, so help uh, ground any static electricity, so that lightning does not come down. At least that's what it was uh, indicating when I asked people on the forums. I was wondering, do what did I need to like run, you know, a copper wire right to the top? 
So I've set it there in, in hopes that there's a nice hole there for the copper wire to go right through on the dish too. So that, that worked out real good. So this four foot dish has been great at getting some of the KU band feeds that have been uh, a little bit tricky to get. One of which is the uh, Sinclair Broadcasting Mux on 87 West, which I watch Ring of Honor with. And also with the, uh, on 99 West, there's this news channel uh, there. So uh, I enjoy watching that sometimes. And then uh, having the actuator all set up has worked a lot better. Since my, uh, my old motor on my 36 inch has died, this is the old motor here. Uh, I haven't gotten, I don't know if I can fix it. The power died on this about um, last year. Luckily it stuck on 97 West and I wasn't bothering with it to move it too much, but it, there's another project is maybe to set up and do a video on setting up one of these. I, it served me well, it has like the inputs and basically I use this, to get, the receiver controlled this motor so that I was able to move the dish without, uh, once I had it set up, it just moved the dish to the satellite that I wanted. So but the, uh, it's, I've had this for almost 10, yeah, I've had this one for about 10 years now. HQ, it's a DMS International. So if someone in, in the comments wanna say uh, that can be fixed, uh, I'll send it off to you and you can fix that for me. <laughs> so uh, if you're in North America, please join the North American uh, uh, Facebook group we got on for North American satellite uh, viewers. I've also created a group for the um, LTSS um, users uh, dealing with our situation of having the Shaw Direct wanting to shut that all down so that we can't get our free satellite TV with the LTSS program through the Shaw receivers through, and using the Th Shaw Direct system. If you need to contact me, my email is Robbie underscore strike at hotmail.com. Satellite dish. Satellite dish, wonderful satellite dish. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs>